Jul på Vesterbro, Westbridge Christmas, episode 5, Sotisus, which I'm not entirely sure what the English equivalent uh, it's a it's a phrase like gone fishing or wait is that a phrase or is that just a movie title whatever it's, it's lost at sea I guess might be the rough equivalent anyway thoughts uh, yes spoilers for these first five episodes and let's dive right in so yeah um, in the at, at the start with the with the television the news coverage we get the punchline to the joke of the the scubs scouts cub scouts brain couldn't decide which word to say so it combined them the cubs the three cub scouts that bought explosives from from Danny yeah they they in a church, they they um, did a thing that I'm not sure if I should say on YouTube. Yeah, that's that's so messed up, and I am going to the deepest depths of hell for laughing at it. And let's see. Yeah, and they talk about how the um the um yeah the thing with how they have to throw the thing the the remote control in order to turn off the TV and then point out oh yeah maybe it is a bad idea that is how that is why it doesn't work and you know Stewart says uh, you know oh it also works for getting women to stop talking just holy crap um yeah pretty intense misogyny there um i do really enjoy the the musical therapy where you know he yeah he plays music briefly and tries to have this you know kind of just friendly tone of them introducing themselves to each other and <laughs> Stuart insists on making it dirty and then Danny cannot for the life of him come up with something original to sing and and just you know and and yeah for a little bit Arn's like you know what um that's that's let's call it a day I think that might be enough for for now and let's see right and around this time we have the the joke about the the Palestine joke which like it was already really messed up back then but it's aged like fine banana in the 20 years and especially more very recently and <laughs> it's so so ridiculous but yeah after the the musical stuff yeah Anna says you know nothing brings people closer to each other than than singing together and Stuart like without missing a beat goes that you know you must not have tried anal and Danny is like I did <laughs> like just the tone of it he sounds like a, a a kid who understood a joke or something like he's just he's so excited about that just yeah um yeah and Randy comes in once again to ask for money and I will say there's some very funny like the the two of them spend like half the episode shouting insults at each other Danny and Randy and yeah that is there's some there's some really great stuff there and yeah Stuart goes to you know yeah to the the issue of of money for the you know to so that Danny has a good place to live as a you know paroled convict comes up again and and Stuart's like I'm gonna I'm gonna see how it's um you know I'm gonna check the progress of the you know 
repairs, and he only finds Eagle down there, and he somehow, like, he misses the fact that it clearly says C4 explosive across. He's like, oh, it's, what is this, clay? Okay, I mean, I don't know if that's going to be enough to fix the the hot dog stand, but I, okay, if, if that's, you know, and, and Igor seems legitimately, like, he's, he seems to think that Stuart knows what's going on, and is just, like, making, like, jokes, like gallows humor or something, and, like, before, Igor was like, good news, let's celebrate, got some vodka right here, here he's just like, you're funny, vodka? celebrate you know just yeah he legit, he will drink at absolutely nothing he, he needs no excuse to drink which you know that is how a lot of people in the west think of of russians you know they do have a lot of reason to to drink and they're yeah this is not a very nuanced per depiction of them uh, let's see, yeah, and, and the, um, yeah, uh, uh, Stuart goes back up, and, you know, Gata shows up at the door, and I love how, like, I mean, these characters, you know, fulfill, I, I want to say it was Matt Groening, speaking of, of The Simpsons, who said that any good cartoon character has a very recognizable silhouette. Like, you should be able to just look at them in profile and immediately be able to tell. Yeah, you can you can clearly tell that's, that's you know, that goes for every major character in this. Honestly, even, like, the, the news man with his hair, do, you know, yeah, he should easily be able to tell that that's Gata through the, but, you know, opens and closes it. It's That's not going to make things any better. You know, this is not... That's not gonna. That's not a good idea, you know. And and he's like, you know, she has to be the second least, you know, yeah, the yeah, the second least person I'd want to see right now. Oh wait, I guess Satan isn't the person. Then, then she is the first. And <laughs> do you have the money for the the rent? Is the Pope a castrate? I I don't know. No, I you know if, if, well, that's too bad. Yeah, but I mean, I I gave it my best shot, but he ran away. You know, just which one of my favorite jokes. That's because like it's almost a thing. It comes so close to bit like because the the saying is is the Pope a Catholic. But I could 100% believe that Stuart Stardust, at one time in his life, tried to castrate the Pope. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, and, and, you know, yeah, she says, you're evicted. Uh, you know, Anna hears that and, and tells them, you know, Danny has to come back to jail. You know, this is not... He, he does not have a, you know, the conditions have not been met. And, you know, the, the, he, he finally managed to, to keep Danny and Randy from just shouting at each other. You know, he's been there like, can I say something? And like, I, you know, I, I can be the, the mediator here. Uh, you know, let's try to calm things down. Let's try to be more constructive, you know. And, yeah, you know, the, the, yeah, so the, the lights dim and the speaker voice comes on and <laughs> the, the, yeah, so, yeah, the speaker is like, you know, is Danny really going back to jail? And Anna, you know, being, you know, he's, he's like, oh, speaker just doesn't understand. I'm sorry, but yeah, that is gonna, you know, <laughs> and so it's like, dude, stop talking. Just let the speaker, you know. And then the, the, or wait, no, yeah, wait, it's, no, it's Randy that interrupts, and then he, Stuart interrupts her, and then interrupts Speaker right after, afterwards, and, and, and she calls him, dude, you just said, you know, just, yeah, 
very funny, and I think that is everything I have for this episode, so I should be able to do the next episode at some point tomorrow. So, catch you then.